This is a Church of the Holy Trinity, an Episcopal parish on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Established with golden brick and terracotta over 100 years ago, it not only welcomes parishioners from all cultures, ethnicities, races, and classes, it's opened its doors to a diversity of species. People and their dogs. <laughs> While churches worldwide traditionally allow dogs and other pets to attend their Blessing of the Animals ceremony in October, a growing number of churches are offering regular dog-friendly services and exploring the spirituality of dogs. There's an aspect of life, aspect of, of what love is. A, kid. a lot of people can find, maybe in this more secular age, can find in their relationship with their dog rather than a relationship with a God they don't maybe know very well yet. She knows this gentleman well. The tradition of bringing dogs to the Church of the Holy Trinity started about 20 years ago when parishioner Judith Brown was walking her dog Cordelia before church. Sick with the flu, she was too weak to return Cordelia up her five-floor walk-up apartment, so she decided to sneak her into church. The rector had been watching Judith and her dog from the altar and approached them after the service. I thought, oh, I'd better get out of here. Uh, and he ran up to me from the nave of the church and he welcomed me and he welcomed the dog. And I was so incredibly grateful. More and more parishioners started bringing their dogs to church. Jim, Pam, and PJ Sink, who bring their dog Bailey to church every Sunday, believe it's created a hospitable atmosphere. I think it's important to show how at this church we're not strictly, you know, you have to show up in a suit and we have this very strict culture. You need, you know, people only. You need to be, you know, a certain age to come here. We're very open. It's, it, you know, pets can come. It's, we're a very welcoming place. Father Mark Collins welcomes more than a dozen dogs to his weekly Sunday services and more than a hundred pets at its annual Blessing of the Animals ceremony in October. We're now a dog-friendly and an animal-friendly church. We began to have a blessing of the animals every year on the first Sunday of October and invited everyone, our parishioners, neighbors, anyone, to bring their animals, their dogs and cats and birds and turtles, snakes, um, all animals welcome to the blessing of the animals, even the human variety. Dogs and other pets are recognized as a part of the Church of the Holy Trinity family. And Father Mark says they may also serve as a good spiritual reminder for us. If we can be the people that our dogs already think we are, these wonderful people who love and feed them and take care of them, if we can really be those kind of people to each other, then we'll be the kind of Christians God wants us to be.